Hey guys, do you have hooded, crepey, crepey eyes like I do? I think it's crepey, although sometimes they are definitely creepy. But anyways, I have been using a couple of products on my eyes that a number of you have asked me specifically about. And a lot of these questions are coming from my Instagram page. So I thought I would try to shoot a really quick video on how I'm using Retin-A on my eyes and a few other products. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But before I go there, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it. So I've been using Retin-A for almost, um, gosh, I think about a year and a half now. And shortly after I started to use Retin-A, I started to try to go up closer to my eyes. So I have a couple of different doses of Retin-A, as you all know, different strengths. The one that I've been using on my eyes is the 0.025%, which is the weakest Retin-A. What I would do is I would take my regular Retin-A that I put on my skin and I would go all over my face. I would do a real generous pea size, a dab here, I usually a dab here and here and here. And then I kind of just, you know, tap it in, massage it in gently. And I always went right up around the edge of my eyes and I always went to about my eyebrow area or a little bit below on the brow bone. But I never really successfully went closer you know, and when I did get closer, I would have really like a red sore in the in the corner of the um, the eye over here. So I, I didn't really, I didn't like that. I didn't like that feeling. So what I have been doing is I have been using an eye cream for an awful long time, and I really like this eye cream. This is from Timeless. It's the eye cream. It's got hyaluronic acid, Matrixyl 3000. Anyways, I have been using this eye cream probably twice a day. I would dab it all around, all around, and I really like the moisturizing effect that it gave me. So for me, this is a really good eye cream. I've also been alternating with another eye cream. This is one that I got in the TJ Maxx. It's Lan Lanacorp Manuka Honey Eye Cream. I don't know if this is gonna pick it up, but I will definitely link the label. But anyway, so I was playing around with the eye creams and I was like on, you know, with the Retin-A going close and all that. And then I was in the store. I saw the Olay Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. This is what it looks like. This is what my, this is what it looks like in the package. So I saw it in the store and I said, hmm, Pro, I mean, I thought about it, retinol, and it, it said that you would actually see some visible results like in a four week time frame, that it would work on your crow's feet, and I was like, all for that, and that you could bring it up with no irritation. So I bought it, and I, I used it twice a day. I've used it twice a day almost two months now. So what I would do is I would take a generous little pea size, well, half a pea maybe, you know, a little dollar, and I'd just tap it all around my eye, and then I would take another one and tap it all around the other eye. And I actually go right up, way up, to my whole eye area, my crow's feet area, and all above on my eyelid. And I would do this twice a day. I had had no irritation from it, and that I think is the biggest thing. This little corner, this little crease that I have in my eye, when I would get too close with my, my even my weakest Retin-A, I would get red and I would have a little irritation, and I could tell that it was irritating it. This has given me no irritation at all. Now, since I started using it, I've seen two other videos on it. One was from, is it Nadine the Beauty Know-It-All? I think, I think hers was the first video I saw talking about this product and I was kind of, you know, leery in the sense because I just started using it. I'd only been using it maybe two weeks or something or three weeks, I'm not too sure now when her video came out. But I also knew that her video was, I think, a sponsored video. So I'm always not, you know, not skeptical or anything of that nature, but I'm just leery on it. So I continued to use it and and then, I think it was like a week or so ago, Nisha from Sugar Puffin Fluff came out with her video on it. 
Now, I watched her video and I watched her talk about the product and I thought, wow, she's like, she swears it's like a miracle. She goes to bed and she wakes up and her eyes are so much better and all that stuff. And I'm like going, wow, you know, I, I'm not getting that dramatic result and I've been using it for a long time. So I kept thinking about it and I'm like really looking at the creases of my crow's feet and, and, I, and I really, I can't say it's a miracle product like she can. I really can't. I can say that I do think I've seen a difference in my crow's feet in, in the, or my laugh wrinkles, my heavy, heavy wrinkles. Now, it could also be that the Retin-A is just really kicking into that area. It could be an accumulation of a number of things that seems to be visibly to me that my wrinkles are a little bit less harsh looking if that's the right way to describe it. But I choose to believe that this is doing something. Now, this is not sponsored. This was not given to me. I bought this. I actually bought my first tube of it in Walgreens when they had a little sale going on. My second one I got in Walmart. I haven't opened it yet. And if you know me, you know that if I find something I like, I like to have a backup because I'm always afraid they're gonna discontinue. So I have a backup and that speaks volumes for me. So what I do now every single night after I take my makeup off, I do my regular skincare, I do my regular Retin-A, which is this, the 1% that I'm using all over. I take the 0.25 or the other dose, I put some in the palm of my hand with my rosehip oil, mix it and I go all the way down my neck into my chest. And then I take this, and I dab it all around my eyes, including the movable part of my eyelid, all this crepey area. And I even think that that's even gotten slightly better. So I do this twice a day. And then when that is at night, when that's over with, and I'll put on my eyelash serum, I sometimes I'll take, usually, I don't have it here, I do. I hate to even you know mention this because I believe it is discontinued, but I will usually take the skin firming and smoothing concentrate, Nivea, and I just now put that on the little tiny dab of fat pockets in the inner corner of my eyelids. That's really the only place I'm putting it. So after all of that, I may end up taking if I feel that I need to have a little bit more of a moisture around my eyes, I'll take my It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. I really like this cream. And I'll put that, I'll dab that on. And then I will take my Bee Venom Cream and I go with my Bee Venom all over my face after my Retin-A. So, you know, to answer your questions on the eye treatment, do I believe this is making a difference? I do believe that it has made a difference. It's not a dramatic, remarkable difference like some of the other ladies have seen. But enough of a difference to me that I'm seeing in my lines after just about two months of use that I definitely want to have my backup. So, yeah, I really, really like it so far. Now, during the day, I still use the squirreling because some people are going to ask me. I have one from The Ordinary. I have one from Timeless. But I like this as a light oil because... It gives a surge of moisture during the day and I put it on right over my makeup and it doesn't smudge it. It doesn't seem to do anything with it. So that's the scoop on how I deal with my hooded lids, my crepey lids, <laughs> creepy lids, crepey lids, and my deep wrinkles using the Olay Pro Eye Retinol Treatment and my Retin-A. I use my Retin-A and so far for me, this has worked really, really, really well. That's it. I hope I answer your questions. Again, I am not an expert. I am just a 64-year-old woman. Yeah, maybe I'm on an anti-aging journey, aren't we all? But I'm trying to be realistic. And if I can use something that I think makes me feel like it's better or doing better or makes me feel good, then it's, I'm going to keep on using it. So only two months, but I think two months is a good test for me, enough to have this and enough to want to continue on with the treatment that I'm doing for my eyes. 
So thanks so much for watching guys. Hey, and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them in a future video. I think it's kind of cool to answer the questions in a video. Bye guys, have a good one. See you later.